How to install the DMX Touch wall controller. You can pair this wall mount controller with a wireless receiver, which offers wireless connection to the controller, and is good for small installations where the controller is close to the receiver. See our video on how to set up a wireless RGB installation to find out more. But for use where a range beyond 30 feet is required, we recommend a DMX solution. DMX Control is a great option for bigger color changing light installations. When you use a DMX decoder with this wall mount DMX controller hardwired to it, the lights can be up to 300 feet from the controller. Installation is just a few easy steps. First connect the tape light to the decoder. Connect the voltage wire from the tape light to the V plus terminal on the decoder. The rest of the wires connect to the negative terminals. Then connect the red wire to the red negative terminal then the green wire to the green negative terminal, and the blue wire to the blue negative terminal. If you're installing RGB tape, you're done. If you're installing RGBW tape, you have one more wire, which you connect to the white negative terminal. Now we'll connect the controller to the decoder. The DMX Touch wall controller is Alloy's go-to option for DMX control. There are two models. One has three scenes. A scene is a saved color or color pattern setting, and one has three zones to control different areas of one room or multiple rooms independently. The DMX decoder is required to translate the controller's commands to the RGB or RGBW tape light. For this installation you will also need the RJ45 splice cable and the RJ45 coupler, both are sold separately. First connect the RJ45 splice cable to the wall mount controller. The orange and white wire goes to the D plus terminal on the controller. The orange wire goes to the D minus terminal. And the brown and brown and white wires, both wires, go to the ground terminal on the controller. Then plug the splice cable into the RJ45 coupler. Now you can plug a Cat5 Ethernet cable trimmed to the required length into the coupler and into the decoder. Alternatively, you can plug a Cat5 cable into the decoder and run that cable all the way back to the controller. You just trim off the blue and green wires and connect as shown. Now connect each decoder to a 24 volt non-dimmable constant voltage power supply. You can use one power supply for several decoders, as shown here, or one driver per decoder. This driver powers the tape light. Now connect the controller to its own power supply, or wire it to the same power supply used to power the lights if it is close enough to wire conveniently. If the power supply for the lights is too far away, we recommend the 12 volt 6 watt non-dimmable driver for use with the in-wall controller. The DMX wall mount controller is installed in a standard switch box. You can daisy chain up to 10 decoders. This way, all the decoders can be controlled by the same switch. You can see the first three decoders in that sequence here. Remember, the number of zones you can program is determined by the controller. Our in-wall controller supports three zones. If you require more zones, we also carry a Wi-Fi controller hub for controlling up to eight zones independently. Now you just program the decoders. Press and hold the first button until the display digits flash. Let's say you're setting up three zones. Assign the first decoder to zone one by entering 001. Assign the second zone to 005. And the third zone to 009. If you're creating additional zones, Assign the decoders according to the list shown here. If you're using the scenes model which has only one zone, or to synchronize all the DMX decoders, set them all to 001. If hardwiring from the wall controller to the first decoder presents a challenge, going wireless with a wireless DMX receiver is a great solution. The wall controller connects wirelessly to the wireless DMX receiver, which is then hardwired to the decoder.